Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is the Weekly Squirtle, which will be in a separate video uh, already posted. So let's start with cross, because the clues kind of cross each other. All right, nothing on the left, so let's get all new letters. I don't know why build came to mind. It's not, it's not great. I want the A and the E, probably. Um, but plate. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a good choice. Um, I think there's a lot of L-A-E words, so if we work on the right word, we'll hopefully get some more info for the left word. Um, where's that R and O go, though? Are we like an O-A-R word, like like board, for example? Oh, yeah, so we got B-L-A something E. What would it be? Like, it's not Blade. Blake? No, that's just a name. Blame. Probably Blame. The thing that I'm thinking about is whether there's a chance it's anything else. And whether that M is helpful enough, I think I'm just going to go, I'm going to get blame. Yeah, okay. It was just blame. So that was worth it. Um, all I did was eliminate M is kind of what I was thinking about, but I didn't really want to use an M anyway. What, what do we end with? O-A-R what? Y doesn't look very good. K? Um, N maybe? Hmm. No. What do we end with? A? I? <laughs> I don't know what we start with or what we end with. <laughs> this is a problem. I'm pronouncing this as like orc, ori. I wonder if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Ending another A feels like it could work, but I don't, I don't see a word for it. But then it would be like oara, right? Or something like that. But I don't see it. Um, or oari. Nothing ends in U. O-R, ori, oari. What is it? <laughs> Is this obvious? I'm just going to fill every letter at the end and see what, what might click. I'm going to give that Y another chance. I don't see it. U, there's no way. I, I just don't see that. N, N feels the most promising, but I just don't see a word. Okay. Uh, why did I go straight to N there? How about F? No, G, H, J. K. This K is pronounceable, but I don't see it. Z, X, V, N. All right, I think I have to do a filler. What's like a good filler though? How about hunky? Apparently, I've had this before in Dortle because this is a purple link. And the last time I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> so let's look it up again. It's like a white, whitish, or grayish white color. White or gray with age. Okay. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> Sometimes Dortle has weird words. All right, let's do Fibble. Each guess has a lie in it. So maybe this eye is supposed to be yellow or green. We don't know. But there's exactly one lie in every guess. It starts us off with sinus here. Um, so we want to keep this N in the middle, bring in one of these other letters. Um, I'm thinking sonar is good. It keeps the S. All right. Well, one of these N's is lying. That means this S can't be lying. So there is no S in the word. Um, I'm thinking about whether I can keep using this R somewhere and the N, and then I just have to bring in an I or U, just have to bring in an I or U, something like this, right? Uh, maybe start with R. Like, R R I N seems reasonable, actually. I can't do rinse, but something like that. Or R-U-N. Does R-U-N work? Or I could do, like, an N-I here, or N-U. Um, like, R-E? R-E-N-U. R-E-N-I. Hmm. Why isn't there a word here? R-I-N. I want to do rinse. <laughs> can't use the A. Can't use the O. Could use a U. Uh, I can't use the U or or an or I could use another I, I suppose. But is there not like a rind or something? No. Rhinal. <laughs> okay, I may not be able to do this. That's crazy. I thought there'd be something. I was thinking about ending an E. Rinse with a Z? No, didn't think so. <laughs> uh, ringe. Okay, so what can I do here? I'm thinking about using the R and like the A or the O and then just not including an N. Um, what's a good word? Just ratch. 
we didn't learn a whole lot from that. The A's agree, the R's agree. So maybe I do another RA word, and I'd have to use the C. I could do racer. Oh, no, I can't do an R. Raced. Wow, I'm still not learning anything. Um, there's no contradictions happening here. I could do like an R-O and omit the C, and just like end an E or something. I don't know if that's a word. Kind of tough. It is really reinforcing R first, and no A. It's never once said there's an A, so... Um, but if I omit the C, I have to keep the E somewhere. This is really the only place for it. Or I could do like an R-E and then like an O over here. That would be fine. I don't know what word that would be. Does renig work? Renig works. Let's try that. Okay, I, I am really thinking this R is the lie. Because I really think there, ha there has to be an R in this word. So, that means this would be the lie. Um, oh no, I can't have this I true and this I true. Ooh, interesting. So let's reset. Interesting. So let's look at this real quick. First of all, these ends disagree, meaning there's no S. We know that. These I's disagree and the ends disagree. Ooh, that's fancy. Okay, so that, that's both of our lies. One of these I's is wrong and one of these ends is wrong. So anything that's not an I or N in these words has to be true, meaning there is no R. So all of both of these are all of these R's are lies. No wonder I was struggling. So we learned that. <laughs> what did we learn here? We learned there's a C in the middle, and there's an E somewhere, not second or fourth, and that's all we know, other than a bunch of grays. Wow. Um, so what are we doing here? Really good question. I'm thinking like CLE, like uncle, but there's like, what can I even use here? I can use another E, but only if I start with another E. Ooh, I think it's cycle. Ooh, and that's a tough word. Yeah, it is cycle. Wow. R, R, R. All lied. Insane. <laughs> okay. It was, it was really trying to convince me there was an R in the word. But then when I made this R a lie, I got a, a crazy contradiction with these eyes when I realized we had this X-wing here. That really helped. All right, cool. Let's move on. So let's play between all. I'll start with Lucky. We're, we, we've had this a lot. Where has it been? 12%? Let's do, let's do a late S. Like stove. Not far enough. Okay, it's in the T's. Um, timer? Stove timer? All right, that's close. Um, title? I think that's way too far away. Ooh, actually, title's closer, though. Tiger is, like, in the middle. Okay. Uh, is there another T-I-G word? It doesn't, it doesn't feel like there is. But, like, we're very close to tiger. But there may not actually be another T-I-G word. So after G is H, I don't think we're doing T-I-H, T-I-I, no T-I-J, no T-I-K. No, it might even be T-I-L or even T-I-M. Uh, tilde? Okay, I went too far with tilde, way too far with tilde. So I missed a T-I-G, I guess. Not tiger. Um, if it's not tiger, it's tigon. Wait, tigon was accepted? Oh no. I didn't mean that was a joke. I don't know why I pressed enter. enter. Um... Well, at least I know it's between Tiger and Tigon. Um, what? Is there a T-I-G-O? There must be, right before Tigon. Um, I'm just going to try all of these just to check if there happen to be words, but I don't think they are. This game has started to have more obscure words. I think they're running out of the, the common ones. <laughs> all right, so it isn't T-I-G-O. What could it be? T-I-G-I? I mean, that doesn't really feel like a word, does it? Oh, tight. <sighs> I-G-H-T, okay. That's the, 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 those kinds of words are really hard to think of um, alphabetically for some reason. All right, tight. Nice, that's a tough word. All right, and we are going to start word 500 with tight. One yellow and tight. I'm going to assume it's the I at this point. So we'll just move that to the middle. What do we want to do here? Um, how about slink? Still one yellow. So if it's still the I, then we just got to move that again. Um, but 
it's going to be hard to make a word here. We'll, we'll try. Um, we still have a lot of vowels left. It could be like an AI word. Does that work? Um, I don't even know if I need to do that. I see like peril, but there's no L. Denim, but there's no... Wait, does denim work? There's no N for denim. How about braid? One green. Well, okay, so if we're if we're still saying it's the I, then that means we got the I in place. We need to divide another word. I'm really starting to think that there's no I in the word, but let's see. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. Let, let, let's look at the option of there being no I in the word. So that means we got a letter in tight, a letter in slink, and a letter in braid. Um, we could have gotten this A in place for sure. And then, what do we want to do? Um, it could be the T. We just have to move the T somewhere. The S or the L. All of these letters are reasonable, especially S L N. I'm actually, I'm actually thinking about this R here. Oh, I was gonna do N G at the end, but this N can't go forth. So maybe not. Can't put T first or for last. That makes it harder. So I'm thinking like ending in T E. But then nothing can go before that R. It could be an L, N, or K. That doesn't work. Yeah, this doesn't this doesn't work. Um still think there's no I though. So what letter's in place here? If it's not the R, let's look at the A again. So the A in place, what letters am I using from tight and slink? Out of place. One from each. Could I just end in TH? I thought of wrath, but there didn't. What what if we do? What if we just oh no, TH is no good. I don't know why I thought TH would work. I, that is two letters from Titan Slink, but they're both from tight. So I can't do that. Um I mean I could do a TS word, but it's not it's probably not the answer because plurals generally aren't the answer in Word 500. Um same with Wordle. It's tempting just to try to get some info, but let's see what else we can do here. These letters just aren't very compatible with each other. Okay, what if we just like start with G or H or something like that, and then just do an A L E or something, or A L something? Um, but what would go after an H or a G? What if it was like H E A L? There must be a word here. Okay, I like H E A L. Is Healy a word? No. I I think it's just not a word though. Helm is not spelled that way. Okay, it was worth a shot. Yeah, I don't see a word. Um, if it's not the R or the A, I could try starting with B. Seems difficult. Um, B is some vowel. And then what, like NT or something? I don't know. Bunty. Is bunty a word? Bunty's a word. I'm going to try it. Oh, I'll, oh, that's perfect. All red is, we love to see it. Um, so if we still think there's no I, then I guess we could try the D because I, I didn't think there was an R or an A. So what, what are we doing here? Um, somehow making a word, we have E's and O's left for vowels, like a, like an ED word, hosed. I think it works. One green, one yellow and hosed. So if we got the green right, that would, I mean, that would mean no A, S, or H, because we have to have an E or an O. If we don't have an A, I, Y, or U, we have an O or an E. So there would be no S or H in the word at all, and then one of these would be out of place. So we'd only have the one vowel. I'm starting to think that I might be right, or maybe this RA, one of the RAs. But let's see. Um, can I come up with any kind of word? I was thinking about, like, I was thinking about L-O-G, but it actually can't be. The G can't be in the middle. Um, how are we... I feel like we'd have to do like an E-E-D or something. Yeah, th this isn't it. This isn't it at all. So, no D. That's what we learned. Let's try the I again, just, just to see. That would look like this. And then we'd have a green and a yellow and hosed, which aren't the I. 
something like, oh, it wouldn't be the H. It wouldn't be the S. So we just have the O or the E. So something like E, I. Can I come up with anything? Wait, I need the O and the E. So here's what I'm thinking. O, I, E like this. Like posy, right? But there's no S. Moxie. Movie. Why did I think of Moxie before movie? <laughs> well, oh, that was tough. Yeah, it was the I the whole time. I rejected it too soon. But it's because I didn't think about doing the OIE. All right, well, that was tough. The games have been tough today, all of them. Let's move on. All right, polygonal. Experts on. We have an eight letter word today. And this repeats and this repeats. So I am going to try ING. What would go between this I and N? That's kind of tough. It may not be possible. There's another thing that I keep trying to remember to try, which is INGS. Um, I don't think this is a word, though. Yeah, I don't see how this is a word. OK. Um, if we do like a like an ER, ED, E something word, that, that does give us this E. So maybe like a TED. Treested. I feel like we're close to something. I can't. I can't see it. All right, the games have been really hard today, so I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do fillers today for this. We'll start with, with machined. See if that E is right. Okay, the E wasn't even right. Um, four of the letters is a lot. Uh, I'm thinking about ending in I and E. Does that work? Something like this. Again, what goes between an I and an N? Nothing. Um. I'm going to do robustly just to get the rest of the S in place here is interesting. What if it was A N E? Does that make any sense? Need an I somewhere? No, I don't like it. Oof. Um, so if it's eight letters, two repeats, there should be six letters in total. So we, we still need a letter. Where do these letters go? Maybe E at the end? We could end in N E. And then like something along these lines. Oh no, that, that A repeating is tough. Um, could we be like an S? No, we can't be S N here. And N is not this repeated letter. It's not this repeated letter. Um, okay, let's say this was the letter we don't have. This would then have to be the A, I, or N. What if we ended like A, N then? And then this, we're saying this is the letter we don't have. So like an EA. No, but then we need an I as well. Okay, I can't put three vowels in a row here. That's not going to happen. Um, could we end in IE? Oh, wow. I might have to do another filler. Can't figure this out. Um, what would I want to, what would I want to learn? The new, the, what the final letter is. Where the E goes, like where the vowels go in general, um, what can I do here? What if I do an ING filler? I think that's pretty good. That tests a lot of good stuff. So um, is evening? No, evening doesn't fit. I'd like to get some of the letters we haven't used before. Maybe try an A here as well, or an N. Um, I think annoying, actually. Test some good stuff. So let's let's give that a try. I know it's three N's. I think annoyers is better. Test the E here. Uh, fine. I'm just gonna go with annoying. All right. So we know this is the N. This is not the A. This is the I. So we're in something. Maybe I should have thought about that. In something. All right. And this is S. So we need. I'm thinking this. Invasive. There we go. Okay, not my best work, <laughs> but I got there. How many options were there? Seven ordinary words. No wonder I was struggling. Activate, automate, crevices, entirety, fruitful, ignominy, and invasive. Yeah, not none of these like like maybe that ATE ending I could have thought of automate. I don't know how much that would have helped with invasive. Gotta get the E at the end, I guess. Yeah, some tough stuff. All right. Let's do the mini. First and last letter are the same. Taro. When that TA. Um, what is it then? Um, tacit. No. 
T A I something T. Really? What is this word? Oh, taint. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We'll do symbol. Start with blaze. All right, so I'm think I like to. The reason I include the Z is if it catches a symbol, I like to assume it's not um, the in place symbol. It means we don't have a Z in the word, right? So I'm going to move one of these other letters into that slot because that, that's that's what that other symbol would mean. So um, I like to try ERs because it moves this E to that fourth slot. ER is really common. Um, let's do power today. It is an ER word today. Okay. So now we just have to find out what ER word it is. Um, let's try timer. Actually, I think it's been timer. That's why I stopped using it. Um, minor then. All right, it is I-E-R. At this point, we're just a wordle solve. <laughs> um, what's, a, what's a good I-E-R word? Actually, I'm, I can't think of anything. Um, cider? Nope. Um, is Fiverr a word? It is. It's not that. Oh no. Um, I might have to do a filler. What is? What else is left? Ooh, it could be like an uh, repeated R, but River is gone. Riser. Not a repeated R. Oh, okay. So I got two guesses left. Oh no. Um, I'm not about to lose symbol. Let's think about what's left. What am I not thinking about? We can't repeat the E. I know that because this E was pointing at the fourth slot. If there was an E earlier in the answer, this E would have pointed at an earlier slot. Prefers the leftmost. So we know there's not another E. Um, so with I E R, ooh, we could be I X E R actually, but mixer's gone. Okay, I don't think we're I X E R. Tiger is possible. That might be it. There's not that many letters left. I'm just thinking about repeats. We know there's not a repeated R. There's not a repeated E for not something weird like EI or something. I don't think there's a word for that anyway. Um, that's the only repeats I would think would happen. Um, I think it's Tiger. Please be Tiger. It was Tiger. Okay. Phew. Those ER traps. Holy moly. I'm not about to lose symbol, though. Never, ever lost symbol. All right. Let's do the blind fusel. So we'll start with tiger. Now there's a lie in this twist, this first twist. So I'm going to assume it's the G and that we have another ER word. So let's just do, um, you know what? Let's guess liger just to find out what that lie was. All right. So we're L something, something ER. Unfortunately, in this twist, we have to, we have to put a vowel in this slot. So this twist was the symbol twist. We didn't get a blue clue though, so it's just the same. It's just greens are greens. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to put a vowel here and go for an answer. But what do we think the answer is? Probably something like lower. Ooh, can we do layer? We could do layer actually, because it accepts Y as a as a vowel. Okay, let's try lower. Lower was the answer. Nice. All right, <laughs> not too bad. We did get another ER word though. But I lucked out getting that L. All right, cool. All right, let's move on to our final game, the weekly squirtle. So I haven't done this one in a while. Um, sure, let's let's start with lower. Why not? Okay, so we got a lot of info here. So the the yellows with the arrows pointing left right means that in that word, in that horizontal word, there is an L, just not where I guessed it. The reds with the arrows pointing up down mean in the vertical word, the up and down word, there's an O, but not where I guessed it. And then the orange ones with arrows pointing all directions means both in the horizontal and the vertical word, there's an R, but not where I guessed it. Okay, the black means that it's not in the word at all. So there's no W in the word at all. Or sorry, in any of the words. In the whole puzzle, there's no W. All right. Um, so it, it makes us guess an order. So we guessed this horizontal and this vertical at the same time. Now we're guessing this second one, the second horizontal, second vertical at the same time. Um, so what do we know about this word? We don't actually know much at all. So why don't we do all new letters? How about think? 
All right, so we got no H or K in the whole puzzle. There is a T in this word. There's an I in this word. We don't know anything. Okay, and the N being white means that there's an N somewhere in the puzzle, just not in, um, not in the word, I guessed. Okay, so we know that there's an O and an R in this word. I'm, I'm gonna try to try to put the O in the middle. Why don't we guess order? Because we know this ER is also pointing down. So let's give that a shot. This ER is also pointing right. Interesting. Okay, so uh, both of these are O at the start, but the ERs are elsewhere. There's a D in this word. So this word, we know there's an E somewhere. I'm thinking here. All of these E's kind of converge here. So this is just a note that I'm taking. It's not a guess. Um, it's not an official guess. I can just notate where I think letters are. Is that all we know? Uh, there could be an L at the start here. There could be an R at the start here. Why don't we start with R and go for this word? Um, it could be R-I. You know what? Let's guess riser. See if this is the ER here. Oh, nice. Both ERs locked in as green. In fact, this is like river or something like that. Rider. Because there's a D, I'm thinking it's rider. Now, this word here, we could look into what it might be. The only thing we know is this is OR. We know there's no L or T. There's no E in the word, so it's not O-R-E. It could be O-R-Y, maybe? Maybe I should just think about what the, see, thinking about what this first letter is is helpful. But I could also go for this vertical word. I could see if we start with L, because we know there's an L in this word somewhere. Probably a second, though. Like, L's love to be second, so let's not guess that there. Let's, let's see what we might end this O-R with. Um, O-R-D. Hmm, I'm thinking about what it might be. It's not immediately obvious to me. Um, what are we ending with? Are we ending with Y? I've noticed I haven't tried an A yet, and, and I haven't tried a U yet at all, so I'd like to do that. Maybe like an A-R-Y word. Is there one that's available? Like, I thought of scary, but there's no S in the whole puzzle, so we're not going to guess that. I'm having a lot of trouble thinking of anything to guess here. It's tempting to guess agony, just to get some info, see if we end in Y. All right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to guess agony. Oh yeah, that was pretty helpful. The A and O are correct. It does not end in Y. There's no Y in the whole puzzle. Okay, so we're guessing these words. What ends in O-R-A? Huh. Agora? Probably. We know there's an A in this word. We know there's a G in this word. It's got to be Agora. Um, so I should have saved agony for this guess. <laughs> oh well, didn't know. Um... <clears throat> So what I can do here is I can guess these horizontal words, and I'll just finish Agora in two guesses. So what do we think is A-O here? We know there's an L somewhere. What else do we know? No R or E. That's really all. No T. Vertically, we don't have a whole lot. Okay, so for this bottom word, we have an N, and I'm thinking the answer is acorn. So this ending in IC makes a lot of sense. Does that mean this A is probably here? There's an A in this word. Could this be outdo? Outdo? What are we doing here? Could this be an E? I think there is an E somewhere. Well, I mean, we have an E already. But I'm thinking like learn here, so we end in the L. That's in this word. It could even be double L, but atoll. See, atoll's a word, but there's no T. So what could it be? Um. I can't, I, I can't figure out what this word is. This is a problem. Um, I'd love to figure out the rest of this. What's this? If this was G-U-E, what is this word? A-U? Is there an A possibility here? I don't see why not. So then it could be gauge. What is, what's going on here? Are there any letters I haven't used yet that need to appear somewhere? I feel like I'm, I, I'm so close to me, I'll just guess all five words and be done. If I can just figure out the rest of this. Okay, let's look at the white letters. We found an R. We found a D, I think, in, in Rider. G, yep, N. Have we used an... We, have, we did use an N down there. I and O. Have we used an I yet? Yes, we found an I. 
Okay, so there's no white letters that we have to use. Okay, we found the I, found the D, found that E, found the R, found the N, found the O, definitely, I think we found that G, the A, this R, this R, this E, this O. We think we found this L. I'm going to leave that lit up, though. There's a T in this word. It cannot be gauge. Okay. So what did I do wrong here? Is it, 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 I think it's still Agora. But then this would be a T? This doesn't seem like a word. Glute? I think I need to do more guesses here. I could get Agora correct and just make sure it's that. Um, and then just guess something else to try to get a little bit more info. Like, is there an, is there an AG word that ends in L? Um, I mean, I could do like agile and just confirm that the L is not fourth, but ending in L would be better. I need to do the AG so I, so that I finish Agora. I don't, I don't know if there's a word though. I don't think there is. All right. I'm just going to do agile. Uh, is there anything else I can? Yeah, I'll just do that. Okay. So Agora was correct. Let's think about this. Um, I think learn is correct. Because that E is pointing down. Outdo could have been wrong. There's a T in this word. I don't think we're doing OT something DO. That just doesn't seem like a word. Also, there can't be a T here. So this, this I'm pretty sure is the T. We could technically end in T, but I don't think we do. So what goes before a T here? Probably another vowel? What is this word? The thing about seeing a glute is a word. Okay, it is glute. Okay. All right, so this I think this is outdo then. What's this? Out something. If I do outdo, then writer also finishes. I think that's better. So let's do that. Okay, it was outdo. All right, so I actually, I had most of it right. So I got to get this word right here, ideally. O-U-T something A? No idea. Let's just think about this word. Can't be like other, because there's no H in the whole puzzle. What if this was T and this is outa, like you're, you're out of this world, um, and this is otter? It's not otter, but it is outa. Okay, so this is acorn and learn. I, don't, I can't complete acorn and learn at the same time. I think completing, completing learn is... Hold on, if I complete... Uh, okay, what I need to do is complete acorn, but also get this A here. So I need a word that's something C-A, something N. Is, can I do that? Ideally, I would do that. And then when, when I do that, then I would just get the top word, right? That, that's the ideal. So C-A, something N. E-A-I-N, is something, is something like scon a word? I need that A, um, scon. Trying to think what would go before that C. It feels like S or a vowel. Scarn? Darn, I thought scarn might be a word. Um, I may not be able to do this. Okay, well, I guess, unfortunately, I can't do it. So we're just going to finish acorn then. Let's see if acorn is a word. No. All right. Yeah, I, I can't do this efficiently, unfortunately. It's not even acorn. Oh no. What is it? Adorn then? I wonder if I could have completed the D there. Oh well. I still don't know what this word is. So, okay, L U I D, fluid. This is not otter. This is utter. A foul. Okay, so this is a foul. These are some tough words today. And then here we need to get, we need to do fluid. Wow. At least I didn't lose. And then outa. Okay. Some really tough words today. Yeah, a foul, glute, outa, agora, outdo. 
Yeah, a lot of tough words. And those are the games for today. Hope you enjoyed them. And if you did, then why don't leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below. Thank you.